first down for the Bears, so it'll be first and goal. So after being stopped on third and one on their first possession, the Bears make a fourth and less than one. Dennis McKinnon has made quite a comeback, an electrifying punt return on Monday night. Talking to Mike Ditka. Calvin Thomas lines up back there with Peyton. lost a yard there and coming up was Ron Holmes former number one pick in his third season struggled last year and he's come on this season one thing that Anderson and Peyton in the backfield give you you, ha you now have the threat inside which we've seen and then with Peyton you have the threat outside Moorhead goes to the right takes the flow one way then you turn around and go wide with Peyton it really drives the linebackers crazy Sun has been out after a overcast start to this game and the Bears threatening to score pitch to Peyton Peyton close Knocked out of bounds. Irvin Randall prevented Peyton from scoring, and it'll be third down. But the Bears knocking on the door now. Five forty-nine remaining in the first quarter. No score. Bears have had a lot of third and fourth and one so far in this game. A tight end and Steve McMichael now the third tight end. Peyton in for the touchdown. Well, Tampa Bay has been in Bears territory twice, but it's the Bears. Capitalizing on a pass interference. Penalty on a long toss, and Jim McMahon welcomes the Warriors back as the Chicago Bears take a 6 to nothing lead against Ray Perkins' young crew. Kevin Butler. Jim Harbaugh will hold. And the kick is good, and it's the Bears leading 7-0. You're going to see just a straight dive the second time they had run this play. This is one that gave Peyton the touchdown record. Beating Jim Brown now by one. Nine plays and 78 yards in the big pass interference penalty, the big one. It's a clearing over the city of Chicago. The Bears lead and the cheers are for Walter Peyton, who has scored his 107th. Rushing touchdown of his career, breaking Jim Brown's record.